Let's take a look at the market. We're going to look at the weekly chart. Uh, we'll look at my trade I made today. We'll look at the daily chart. We'll look at the intraday charts and talk about the trades of the day. Okay, so let's get started here. Here on the weekly chart, um, not much going on. I mean, really small candlestick here, right? This guy right here, this doji. Now, today is Tuesday. And let's see, the week opened up at 50.95 on the futures here, the March S&P 500 E-mini futures, which the current contract is March 20, March of 2024, which that contract's gonna expire in about uh, three weeks, something like this. So for those that trade futures, be really aware of that. I like to uh, switch over to the June contracts, you know, which I will probably not, not too far from now. Um, I don't like to get caught out in some kind of, if you make a bad decision, get caught out in the position and you don't want to close it, but you're bumping up against an expiration date, that's a bad situation to be in. So um, usually I'm very cognizant about the expiration date. Uh, we start getting this this close. I might even just start trading June June contracts just to, just to be safe because the patterns are pretty much the same. Um, so we opened up at 1595 and right now we're at 1592 guys. So this is basically, that's why you got a doji going on there. Open for the week and currently where we're at, futures are gonna close here in about a half an hour. Uh, almost the same, right? About three or four point difference here. Okay. So still plenty of week left to go Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll continue to monitor this. We've got, um, March 31st here and June 16th over here. Far as the cycles, I think this one, what is this one? April, this one's April 7th. I just don't have it on there, but that's okay. The green one's April 7th, the blue one's March 31st. Um, let me just see something here. Yeah. Right, so the middle of this blue cycle is like May 6th week of May 6th. That's kind of a big deal. Usually right in the middle of the cycle is kind of a big deal. So I don't have it on there right now, but what we may put it on there later if I think it's going to be in a, you know, something we want to track. All right. There are the supports. They haven't changed. 4937, 4869, 4702. There's another one. Technically, there's one right there, but the other one's more like more uh, realistically more like right down here, which would be pretty low. Forty-five, forty-four. Wow, it's way down there. This one is forty-six, fifty-two. That could happen. Okay. Once this pullback actually gets going, which it hasn't yet. All right, let's take a look at my trade. All right, there you go. One thousand twelve dollars and fifty cents. I had five different trades throughout the day five times tree per trade, 15 contracts, bingo bongo. Um, today was a super tight day. We'll see that in the daily chart. But today was really kind of a tight day for most of the day. It was just chopping down, chopping down, chopping down, slowly chopping down. It was crazy. I had to wait. It's like watching paint dry. The range was super tight, like 17 points for like, I don't know, all through the morning, last night and all through the morning, late morning even, you know, I think it was even as, I'm trying to think, let me look over at the charts here in the office. Um, yeah, it was like all the way till about maybe 11.30ish in the morning my time, then it finally bottomed out. So from last night, pre-market all the way to 11.30 this morning, um, it was just, you know, really tight range 17 points i think is all it was if i remember right so i had to wait and wait and wait and wait I made 112 bucks last night i think i made 112.50 on a scalp and then this morning i made about uh whatever it was i had a total of 975 so whatever that was 863 dollars i guess something like this Made 863 kind of intraday all the way to that low point at 1130. And I had what, 975, that's what it was. 
at 975 going on. And um, I gave a little bit back because I, I was trying to, I had my mindset on at least $1,000 a day. I gave a little bit back. I think it got down to like eight something. Can't remember what it was. Might have been back down to this number. And then there was an opportunity like a little after two o'clock, I took advantage of it and got it back up to 12, 12, uh, 10, 12, 50. I didn't want to over trade today. Um, was just, you know, trying to have a reasonable profit for the day and then not do any more trading. Now in the afternoon, there was a big, uh, you know, a fairly big run up uh, late morning. Um, I didn't touch it. I just kind of let it do its thing. I could have, but I told myself the last few days, don't over trade, just, just relax. Once you get your goal, just chill out. My goal, like I've been saying, is really 1250, but a thousand bucks is fine. Okay. It's more about consistently making profit, bank the profit, keep moving on, right? So my goals really haven't changed. Like I said, just uh, reaching for the old, we'll call it 1250, it's a funky looking one. Funky looking one. All right. I'm trying to do twelve fifty a day if I can. Um or as much as fifteen hundred. That would also be in that range is kind of real re realistic. Last couple of days I didn't quite get there, but it's been tight, really a couple tight range days, so kinda of hard to get it all out of the market without taking some bigger risks than I want to take. So that's kind of my area where I'm hoping to do my thing. Um, other than that, it's just keep working the account and move this number up to four contracts instead of three. Of course, you know, you know, you still got. I'm doing some withdrawals here, a little bit, taking a little bit out. Right, don't want to leave it all in the brokerage account. Take a little bit out. Might put it into savings. Might put it into CD. Might put it into whatever else. You know, might, whatever. Pay the bills, stuff like that, right? All right, um, let's look at the daily chart. All right here we are on the daily chart, and you can see today was right here, range of 26. See what I'm saying? Super small day. Yesterday, I think it was what, 40? Was it 40? Yesterday was 31, almost 32. So the, really just two small days here, right? Most of the day was not even this much. It was 17. And the day was slightly down uh, all through the morning. But looking here at the daily chart, um, the we have we have lower highs the last three days, right? So even though today's close was higher than yesterday's close, we do have lower highs, right? See this lower highs. Now it's only been three days. We can't really make come to any serious conclusion just yet about a trend being developed here, but it is three three days where the highs are lower, and three days where the low is lower. So both the low and the high have both been lower. The only thing that's different is is that uh, this day closed, you know, above yesterday's close, obviously. So this is a little bit of a mixed signal, but so far this is a little, a small sign of weakness going on here. Okay, the cycles haven't changed. We can get rid of this cycle, obviously. The one day cycle low. I think this cycle could come, may even happen a little late. Okay, so you see March 12th is still there. And I looked at this big yellow cycle yesterday going back, it still looks good to me. The yellow cycle looks pretty good going back quite a way, so I I'm going to keep it in here. I was questioning whether or not this cycle was valid. We're going to have to see how it plays out over the next little more than two weeks, and maybe just about two weeks from where we're at right now. We'll see if we get any kind of pullback down into March 12th. There's obviously March 20th and April 14th, and then way over here, because this this could still come into play. May May 1st is way over here. Okay, so we can we can do that for now. And we can always change it later if this cycle gets weird on us. But this is May 1st over here. Okay. May fast. So that's what that is. Yep, and then this other green out there is about May 7th. So 
But for now, that's good enough. Got enough cycles there to kind of keep an eye on what's happening. Okay. Of course, members, keep an eye on your email tonight. I'll send it out and give my opinion as, as I usually do about what I think the market, where the market's headed, okay? All right, so on the daily chart here, obviously the supports, 5012, 4970, 4936, 4872, 4808. Um, I could see a three to, three to 400 points pullback if and when it, yeah, it probably will happen, but when it happens. Um, so whatever you're looking at, what about the 4723? Okay, something like that. So that's not on here, but this one way down here is 47.46. So I could see this being support. Well, we, we can always put that back in here. I could see this being potentially getting down to this. I don't think it, I mean, I'm not gonna say it. I don't think it will, it could. This is 47.46. We're gonna activate this, pull it out a little bit. Okay. And then I will duplicate this. I kind of removed this before, but maybe it's worth putting it back in there. Okay. Yeah, 47.46. Okay. So that's that one. Okay. And we probably should keep these about the same. Do it right here. Let's make it right. All right. So that would be that support down there. I could see it potentially getting down to that. Okay. Once this thing gets rolling, uh, I do think those will be taken out pretty easily. I think that one's going to happen pretty easily. And then we'll just see from there. Below 48.72, we'll have to see. How, see. But I think this, at least down to 48.72, is going to be very likely. That would be a very kind of smallish pullback. Okay, let's look at the intraday charts. Look at the trade of the days. Trades of the day. Okay, we got a couple trades here that actually are pretty good. This one right here was at 735 pre-market. Okay, purple candlestick up here. Can scroll back here a little bit. Make this a little bit bigger. That was a pretty decent opportunity right here. Now, this was still kind of bottom, coming out of the bottom. So kind of in this area on this one and then you got the HMI turn green right here in the middle of this count is where I would have taken this trade now I didn't personally take this trade but it is a, de a decent trade it wasn't a whole lot of points but it was it was okay considering how small the, the range was today so you're looking at uh, 87 and a half down to about I don't know what is this yeah I'll call it 84 so maybe maybe three and a half points here. Okay. So a little opportunity there. And then from there, it was really nice, right? As soon as this thing came up here and got um, showed some weakness, red candlesticks kicked in, this thing rolls over, take the trade right there. Yes, you got to weather out this one upper wick. Okay, whatever. Got two choices, stay in, close, come back in once you get this red candlestick. Okay, you're, you're good. This is a really nice trade right here. Probably realistically you're catching 85 down to about 77. That's nice guys. For a small day like today, that's eight points. That's really nice right there. And then this one over here, believe it or not, was actually decent too. This was a very aggressive run up. A little bit harder one to trade, but you have to be, this is one of those um, indications where you have to have awareness of multiple time frames. Okay, you can trade this to the long side, but you have to be aware of the other charts. So we're gonna go look at the 15 minute chart. But on this one, you'd have to be aware that the, that, um, the MACD is positive, right? You gotta really pay attention to everything that's going on here. So you get an alert, the MACD is in positive territory. Right, super nice, right? Really positive territory here. Look at that. So it's a lot of upward momentum. 
a little bit harder trade, a little, a little bit more risk because you don't know if this pullback just keeps going, right? But it didn't. It paused and rattled. And when you get this, like I call it the, the paint, the, you ever know those uh, um, paint cans that have the, like the rattle ball in there? Click on, click on, you rattle them and you spray paint, right? That's what this is. I call it the rattle ball. It just tacks along the top line. That's when you know the market's bullish. When you see that right there, you look at the 15 minute chart. When you see this stuff right here in the SMI, and this thing's tacking right along the top of the line or a little bit above it, go check the 15 minute chart because I guarantee it's probably doing that. And the same thing down here, if it's tacking like this, then the 15 minute chart's probably doing that. Okay. So you gotta be aware of those things. So it's for a beginner trader, this might be hard for them to take the trade because they see the SMI way up here and they think they're gonna go short, but you can't do because the MACD is telling you, hold on a second, there's a lot of momentum here. And the 15 minute chart is gonna tell you that things are going up. So I said, you always got to look at multiple time frames. You, you have to look at all the streaming charts, the five minute, the 15 minute, the one hour, which by the way, is available to the members 24 hours a day, five days a week. So if you want to become a member, stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you how to do that. Okay. Let's go, see, go take a look at the 15 minute chart here. So this trade here, believe it or not, it's a good trade. Happened at 245, which I don't usually take trades this late in the intraday. But that's pretty nice right there. Very strong upward momentum. And it was worth another, you know, five points maybe here. Maybe four realistically. Probably can't get all five out of this, might get four. And the other thing too is, Okay, we got an alert back here. Had to wait for it to really mature here because this this is this was the chop I was talking about. Choppy, 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 just nonsense. Choppy, 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 choppy. It finally gets down in here and it turns, right? And that's what you want to look for. Is that right there? And the MACD rolls over a little bit later. Oh yeah, this is like you don't you don't need to get us plus alert for this one. This one's just like plain as day. This thing was struggling to get below 70. It was sat at like 75 for a long time. Just sat. Look at this. One, two, three. Let's clear up the screen here a little bit. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven candlesticks all right around this 75 line. This, this thing was just sitting there because that was near the open of the day. It opened at 77. So it just sat around this 75, 77 area from like eight o'clock in the morning all the way to 11. It just kept coming down, touch it, take off, come down, go up, down. I was just, oh gosh, hate when that happens, but you gotta be patient, which I was. And eventually I made good down in here somewhere and closed out my position for a nice little profit. And I think I took a little trade right up in here where the market paused. So, Really nice. This is actually a good a good trade too. If you just you got to realize you got to wait for it. Got to wait for this to mature. Bam. Okay. Just um, yeah. So anyway, I wanted to, I wanted to uh, talk about the hourly chart here just briefly. Look at this alert right here. This was at five o'clock last night. So right at the opening of the new session because futures open the night before, right? And look at this thing. You know, if you think about it, it was right here. Let me just see if I can figure out exactly where this was. Whoops. He's giving me a hard time. So right here. Okay, so it basically happened like right there. I mean, look at that. All right. Let's make this a little more obvious here. It starts to curl over. It rolls over right here, right? Starts going up. So you're getting in, you know, like right about here. Okay, you got to deal with a little bit of sideways chop for a while. You know, one, two, three, four hours of sideways chop, a little up, a little down, be a little patient, and boom, eventually it makes good. Look at this thing. So this is like from, let's call it 77 area, all the way up to, look at this, guys, all the way up to 87. I mean, that's in the, in the, that's a good solid 10 points. And the reason why I say this, that I, that to me, this is a good solid 10 points is because at night things move slower. Usually 
right? During the day, it's hard to catch most of the full range because things are, are moving, you know, much more vol volatility during the intraday, right? But at night, it's not quite as volatile usually. So you just, it's just kind of watching the thing slowly mature and then bang, you get out, right? You're gonna get out, obviously, when this thing starts getting peaking, starts to roll over. So somewhere in that candlestick right there, you're gonna close out. So let's say eight or nine points, right? Probably nine. That's just like super nice, right? And the whole moving average here that keeps you green, keeps you in the trade for a while, all right? Not that I would necessarily say, look, just follow the whole moving average because you can see it if it if you wait for it to turn purple, you've already it's already took a big dive, right? But it does give you a little bit of guidance. Hey, we're in an upswing, right? Or we're in a downswing. So this alert right here was really nice for another um, intraday, you know, trade of the day right there. Albeit it was last night, yeah. All right, if you want to become a member, um, there is a link in the description right below this video. YouTube video just uh, make sure you read the instructions very carefully before you join once you do that click on the discord link it's gonna bring you over to this get a server all right then click on server shop it's gonna bring you to this page right here seven dollars and ninety nine cents guys okay this is just like crazy value all right I mean you saw everything that I, I showed in this video invest in yourself you know it's just three months I don't know, spend twenty five dollars Seriously, I mean, can you get a service that cheap that's doing all, all this? You get the, when you join, the streaming charts are down here. Just click on this SP 500, you'll get the streaming charts, the five minute, the 15 minute, and the one hour. And you just saw like the Get Us Plus uh, indicators on those charts. On the one hour chart is the cycles, which is really nice. The cycles were absolutely spot on today, right to the hour. I made a lot of, most of my profit today that you saw in this video, was timing it down into the cycle low on the hourly chart. That's where I made most of my money. Um, so you get all that right here on the streaming charts. Now when the Get Us Plus alert does trigger and indicates, it sends an alert to this channel right here, okay? So all you gotta do is right click on this channel, turn notifications on, and you'll be notified when the S&P 500 gets alerted. Really nice, right? There's also alerts for these products right here, so that's pretty cool. Now these don't have streaming charts, just the S&P 500 does, but they still have alerts. So this is really nice if you wanna trade some of these other products here, right? Premium symbols, I put symbols in here every day, Monday through Thursday, it's worth a look. There's some good symbols in there. I think today I saw, I'm trying to remember what I saw in there today. I think it was, it, was it gold? I'm not sure, I think I saw gold in there today, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so that's worth checking out some of the uh, symbols in here. Um, if you wanna get the nightly email, put your email address in this channel right here, okay? What you're gonna get is the daily chart of the S&P 500. It's gonna have the, the, the cycles on there and it'll have the support and resistance lines on there as well. All right. And I usually give a sentence or two or three of my opinion about what I think the market's gonna be doing. Okay, occasionally I trade fixed income. If I do, I'll put that in there, some corporate bonds. And then these are just general uh, chat channels that we chat on, member chat and SP500. All right, so this is everything. Look at all this. For $7.99, you're getting the streaming charts, you're getting the premium symbols, you're getting all the alerts, you're getting the nightly email. I mean, okay. For eight bucks, crazy. Yeah, I know I should be charging more for this. All right, I know I should be charging like 50 bucks. If I do that right there, I'm going to pick up uh, kind of a hot, more higher end clientele. The membership's going to be people who have a little bit bigger accounts. Okay, but I don't want to. I really don't want to disenfranchise the small retail accounts. You know, they're. You know, why shouldn't they have access to a good service, a great service for that matter? So that's why I keep it eight bucks. Okay. Um. Talk about the rules just briefly here. In here is the rules. Please be nice to everybody else on the server. Don't post nasty stuff, nasty pictures, nasty sayings, nasty links. Okay, I'm not gonna tolerate that nonsense. Be respectful of all the other people. Okay, otherwise I gotta kick in. If it gets really bad, I'll have to ban you. And here's the refund rules as well. 
And also disclaimer that I do not give financial advice. Everything on this server, everything in the videos I do is all strictly my opinion. It's for educational purposes only. None of it should ever be construed as financial advice, okay? All right, I think that pretty much covers it, guys and gals. Happy trading, everybody. God bless everybody. We'll talk to you all real soon again next time.